Magento's Entity Attribute Value, or EAV, structure allows you to add different sets of attributes to different types of products. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add custom product attributes in our module. So let's get started. When creating a custom product type in Magento, the attributes, whether you create them through the admin or programmatically, have a special property called apply to. If you look at the price attribute that I have navigated to in the admin, you can see that its apply to property is set to selected product types and it's excluding our event registration. So of course you could go through and set these all manually. Or you could go into the, the SQL, you know, navigate to the table. The table is going to be called catalog EAV attribute. And you can see in here that you know, there's an apply to column and some of them have comma separated lists of product types. I mean, you could update this manually, but that's a pain. So I'm going to show you how to do that in the module code. So the first thing I want to do is edit my config.xml file and increment my version number so that I can run a SQL script which will perform the necessary commands to update our product attributes. So in this script, I'm doing a few things. First of all, I need to instantiate a catalog installer. And the reason I need to do this is because I already have a setup resource that extends from the basic uh, resource model. The catalog resource model has all the EAV related functions, so I actually need those. So I'm going to use the catalog installer anytime I need to do anything with entity attributes. So the first thing I'm going to do is fix the issue with product types that apply to that don't apply to my event product type. And I can use this snippet of code here. Basically get the table name using the catalog installer and then run this update query to find anything, any attributes that are applied to simple products and update it to apply to an event. And then while we're at it, I'm going to add a couple of attributes to my product. So the first attribute is just an event title, and that's simply a text field. And all I need to do is pretty much provide a label and tell Magento if it's required or not. The group is going to be a new tab in the left-hand side of the product edit screen. The second attribute is a little more advanced. It's actually going to be a select list where I can choose which event model this product is going to be selling. And I've specified an input type of select and a source. The source points to a model in my module. Let me show you that. Under model product attribute source event.php, I've created a class here with a get all options function. So basically when you have a source like we do here, Magento is going to try to populate the select list with that source using its get all options function. And all I'm doing is iterating over the event collection, returning the IDs and names of the events. Okay, so let's head on over to the admin again and refresh my price attribute. So we should see event registration is now selected. And let's see what other attributes we have here. We should have our two event attributes added as well. Event ID and event title, good. And so let's see how this looks on the product edit page. So when we add our new event registration product, you should see on the left hand side, the new tab that we created, event settings, perfect. And you can see the select list has pulled in all the names. And if we even inspect that element, you should see the correct IDs for the values of each option. So let's recap. After we incremented our module's version number, we were able to use an upgrade script to add the attributes to our product type. Also remember that if you're creating a new product type, usually you need to apply the already existing attributes to that product type. Coming up in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can create some advanced product editing screens. So stay tuned.